What's up everybody? It's Jake and we got random outdoor fun with Kathy and Bob and Becky. She's already in there exploring. Yeah, she... We got a few things we're gonna check out. They're doing a video, so I figured let's do another video. It's been a while since I've done one here, so let's flip this around. See this window this one was always boarded up. You had to go in through the side. <laughs> Oh wow, it's definitely not in as good a shape as it was last time I was here. A lot less walls. Yeah, it's, uh, <clears throat> shifting. Nice view out these back windows. A lot of debris on the floor, so I gotta watch for nails. Wow, the kitchen sink and everything's gone. Yeah, it's pretty solid. I haven't found any spots that are iffy yet. I just stay on the spot where the carpet's clean, kind of. <laughs> but this was originally a duplex that they turned into a single. Like, they took out the wall in the center and kind of made it into one big place. But it was in a lot better shape when I first came here. I got a couple of videos of it on my channel. I mean, there used to be walls here, and they're gone. Like, I can see into all the rooms now. There used to be a lot of good graffiti artwork, too. I don't really see much now. I don't know what the whole... Somebody got bags of pieces of the house. It used to be a fireplace here. I didn't notice that. They patched it up. But then, duct work. So they used to have a fireplace upstairs. It's pretty decent. I don't know if I want to go back. No, I ain't going down this set. Not going down those stairs. I think I'll take the stairs I came in on. So let's go through this wall. It's Becky taking pictures of me. She caught me. You can see the road down there. Just barely can see the road. Other stairs. Don't take the other stairs. Whatever you do. Mm -hmm. There's actually a fireplace over at the other end of the house that's been bricked up that I didn't know about since somebody busted the wall. You'll see it at the very end of the house on the other side. I'm going back down the stairs here.
Oh, there's some deer. Oh. Right, calm down, baby. It's okay. Whoa. Calm down. Whoa. They got freaked out. I had no idea they were sitting there. Wow. Nobody got that. As you see, the chimneys and that little house over there, the deer have taken up their place to, to relax. Pretty cool. Plumbing isn't working, obviously, because all the sewers, I mean, all the fire hydrants aren't being used. And one of these was, uh, it had another kid that I went to school with, lived in, I believe the one on the left. This one was, this one never burned. This one actually just collapsed from rain damage. The this roof, was, roof uh -huh. had really, yeah. This one had a lot of water damage. That one they burned. Wow, this is a lot worse than it was last time I was here. You could actually walk into the basement of this last time I came. Oh wow. Not now though. Not now. It's kind of cool that old door right there. But these are more than like more original mill houses just because they're stone. The <laughs> power outlet. Did you see that, Kathy? There's a power outlet. Look at the power outlet on the wall there. See the two clocks? And then there's another house up the stairs there. Wow, even the stairs are. Look at that. There's another pair of sunglasses. So like in the hole. It's kind of weird. This one just looks really cool. Oh yeah, somebody did. Well, there used to be a wall between the furnace and the um, that chimney. You can kind of see it where it's burnt. Oh yeah. But yeah, I said this is the one I want to say did a controlled burn in. Maybe one day, maybe they'll redo this one. Hopefully, this guy still looks structured. Looks pretty good. That's where the mill used to be. Done a ton of videos of this mill. This area was where trussed portions. We got the other lines right off the main track. And that's the old Chester Tunnel right there. So I feel a little bit clumsy when I'm looking. And this is some of the remains of the ghost town of Ilchester, which is on the mountainside. Yeah, the Patapsco River. You see the Patapsco has been cleaned out some. They got the bridge, nice suspension bridge over there through the trees. Definitely a nice little area to check out here over in the Patapsco Park area. Bob's standing at the bottom with these steps here. Bob said, I ain't going up there. Is that real screaming or? Oh, they're on the rope bridge. The bridge swings. So yeah, I got the, that's the ground level sewer, sewer lid. You got a tree going right through the sewer. But a lot of ruins here. It's pretty good. I'd show Kathy and Bob this little area. And Becky. We gotta head back down the, to, to the main stairway over here. Stairs aren't doing any good. And they're doing me good today.
Alright guys, I'm up here in Ilchester. That's the Ilchester Tunnel behind me and the bridge. And below me right here is part of the platform for the old Ilchester Railroad Station. Let me flip this back around. So at one time there was a railroad station here. It sat right here. And if you look on the ground, when I walk around in the ground, there's actually, you can see some of the old bricks from the actual station when they tore it down. We have the... Da, 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 da. I don't care if I don't want to get copyrighted. They're making it up. Oh man, my legs are already hurting. I might have to get some Tylenol before I even try to attempt this. Oh my. Oh buddy. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. <laughs> Becky on the spell. She says I can't make she says I can't make it. I can't do it. How much farther I got? Uh, about halfway. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Ah. I got it. Alright, stretch. Just came up more more stairs in the hillside here. We got the road here that wraps around. This road goes down to Bonnie Branch. Oh, wow, it's really overgrown now. I can't even see the road here. But this goes right down to the Bonnie Branch, that road that was over there. Okay. <clears throat> so this was actually a road here. Yep, and it wraps around and it goes up around. We'll go around the other side of it. It goes behind the building. And the actual main building was right up here. Alright, I'm going to try to get up here. We're basically going to be standing on about, what is it, five or six story building made of brick and steel. There used to be a, what is, what was the stairway? I mean, I think the stair, the stairwell was here. Yeah. Train's coming. You hear the train? I do. But here's, uh, this would have been the stairway that would go up and down. It was made of steel. I mean, it's kind of, it could go in it, but I'm not going in there now. The builders are covered in, covered in moss over here. Here. The power plant used to sit down there, part of the concrete that's on the side of the power plant. Too, there's actually a tunnel that goes to the main building if you went down far enough, but I don't know if it's true or not. And that's all stone once you get down in there. Oh, look, here's a part of the. Here's one of the um, beams right here. Oh, look at that. It's one of the posts. Wake up, I got a cramp. I'm allowed to do that? 
Yeah. Can we get your mic, Neil? What's the only hammer? I don't look down there. There's an need to shine light down in that hole. There you go. Oh, it's a lot of garbage in here. Please, people, clean up after yourselves. Absolutely. Yeah, burnt. That's a burnt mattress over there. You can see the springs. Nice windows. And as I said, I've done a video at this place before, so this one uh, haven't been here for a while. Figured to check it out. So we ran an outdoor flaunt here. I'm gonna try to look down this this level here if I can without hurting myself. This is one of the pillars that was above this uh, underground platform thing that I'm in. Actually, right, so I like the way the plants are. I don't know if you guys can see down in there. There's like a there's a piece of wood here that looks burnt. There's a pipe here with looks like expando foam on it. There, right beyond that, is a light outlet or a ball would be screwed in, but it's not there. There's some weird looking chains, like for like a chainsaw or something, down there. And some more wood and brick wall on this side, brick wall back there. And it just goes down under. I don't know where it goes, but I'm not going in today. And there's a pipe right here. From where we are. It would be pretty neat to see what's down there. I know it's uh, got some way to come out, though, because there ain't water down there. So some of it's got to be draining somehow. But it'd be neat to see where all the tunnels go to. Or down there. All right, this is the this is the old caretaker's house. The basement, I mean, the garage was right here. Yeah. And then that's the stairwell that went up to is where he lived. And then we'll go around the other side. Let's walk up the stairs right here to where the greenhouse used to be. There's a big encased greenhouse on this hill here. I think it was right here. There's parts of the foundation here that you can kind of see. But like I said, the the actual metal pipes have been cut off that hold the structure of the glass. So there isn't any glass or metal structure left of it. This is the foundation. I'm going to head back down. We're going to follow this road. Kathy's over there. We're going to follow this road around. Check out a few more things. Right, coming up on the prayer area here. Got this out in the dirt here. This area over here. There's a little lake right here that's man made. Hard to see. I don't remember it being like this though. You know, there's a statue that would be in this opening, a statue up in that opening, and a statue in that one. And each one has a different pipe. Like I believe water or something would have came out of them. All right, so we're going to go back up to the other road over there. All right, they're all going that way. I climbed up the hill here, so I'd need them. We got this area here. Somebody got a leaf blower or something going somewhere. But we're going up here. Going to the altar. All right, I haven't been here since it's been uh, painted with all these like hieroglyphics. Get a closer look at this stuff. Look at this. Look at this pile of rocks. What does that say? This is pretty neat. You guys ready to check this out? You know what I have to do? Gotta, we gotta, you know.
recorded, these are the rippers. And the other building with the rippers on the roof. Oh, that's kind of cool. You see that? It says one love. There's some fur right there. Oh, yeah. project I want. You mean, um, rooms. That's the tree of life. This is some kind of forest. Google Translate. It gets kind of blurry right here. That is fun of me. <laughs> Are you really doing oh, really this? There's a castle. It's telling a story. That's the scorpion. Do you mean alphabet? Keep following this road up here. There's some open sewer areas here. Yep. Well, that looks like some crazy, like, witch lady. Kinda. It's kind of creepy looking. Mm -hmm. There's a well over there, I can't really see it. It pulls down here. I'm following a very colorful trail. Well, this isn't the original way in. The original way in was over there where it was all overgrown. Not only the best for Gritty. Where's that mark for that? I think. Yeah, it's a burial wall from the pool area. You got the water tower up there. This is this is a deep end, right? It was a nice uh, blue color at one time. Found something in the wall. That's my purse. I don't know you. That's what it said. That's my purse. I don't know you. There's a big octopus over there too. That now, looks like a tree out of Poltergeist. On the other side of this fence, there is a couple other buildings. You can see the foundation. The diving board used to be here. I don't see it anymore though. Oh, it's, it's a very nice pool at one time. Watch out for the barbed wire. Some more ruins. Wow, oh, you can't really see much back here right now. This would be one of them areas for the winter time. Class of 2020. And like I said, when I was younger, it was actually a cap. It was a round, like, little hole, and it collapsed inward. But it goes down pretty deep. And I believe that was for the actual, for the campus. 
but obviously they're full and probably everything else. It used to say on the side, eat food, not poison, and it had like strawberries, like 20 cents each or something. Get in my shot. Sorry. It's a little hippie band. Some much better days. Yeah, I got the water tower up there. Definitely a place to check out in the winter. Go down this way, there's a couple more ruins and a baseball stadium, a little baseball field. There's an old stone wall here. It runs along the side of the road. <laughs> We're just going down this hill. We're going down the hill here. Kind of following the wall back down to the railroad tracks. Yeah. All right, guys, we just had a Jeez. random, some random outdoor fun here today. Oh, my goodness. And uh, we had a blast. Um, <laughs> we're going to go get food now. Though. We're all starving. I think all of our legs hurt. <laughs> and, uh, it was a great explore. Yeah. That was fun. And it was a nice warm day. So, Five plus years living up the street, and I've never been here before. We'll put in the, in the description below, I'll put their links to their channel and their video. And Becky's video, too. If she did, Becky, did you do any video today? Nope. Well, Becky's got pictures, so she'll be in this video. So, until next time, guys, like, share, hit the bell if you haven't. Peace. I'm trying to get back to the car. I'm trying to find different ways. What are we doing? It's still here. There's a fence line or stone wall. I don't know if I ever did a video of it. So we gotta go up there. With Bob's going up there. We gotta get up there. Hey guys, check this this tree out right here. How it's growing on this wall. Pretty cool. We got a pipe right here. Don't know what it's probably a drain pipe at one time. All right, from that wall, there's a big tree that's sitting on the wall. We got some ruins right here. And the road is right there. And then they got another ruins right here. So we're going to head back up to this road and try to get back up to where, the, where we parked earlier today. So I'm standing on some type of foundation here. This is probably a front porch. We almost made it back to the road. That's the main road right up there. This road leads to some house ruins. Well, guys, we just got back home from a great adventure today with Bob and Kathy from Random Outdoor Fun. But I forgot, I wanted to show something to you guys. Check it out. This is the first book that Kathy came out with right here. So we got it a couple days ago. We took it with us today when we met her. We got her to sign it while we saw her today. And she's got another book out, um, New Jersey one. And she'll probably have another one out. That's what I'm thinking. She keeps, she's knocking these out. It's great. They're awesome. So it was good showing her some ruins today in Maryland. Stomping grounds. I know a lot about Maryland. So, all right, guys. Take it easy. I'll put the description. I'll put this in the description below the link to if you guys want to check out her book. It's got plenty of text and a lot of nice pictures. And these are places that I'm gonna to have to check out in Pennsylvania and do YouTube videos on for all you guys, because I haven't been to half of them. I haven't been to most of them actually. So, peace. Take it easy, everybody.